Hi, my name's Terry and I'm going to do a book review for you today. Um, so the book I'm reviewing is from the Sirius Loggers range. It's the easy to use essential workout log. Um, so for those of you who train regularly, be that three, uh, five or seven times a week, you obviously want to see improvements, progressions. This might be an improvement in your body composition or um, weight gains uh, or muscle gain. So to be able to do this, you need to track your uh, exercises, track your routines, the reps and uh, the weights. Um, so this guide, this, this essential workout log is perfect for that. Without tracking your uh, improvements, it's very difficult for you to actually see uh, your progression. If you're going to progressively overload, um, this means that you're going to increase your weights and uh, your reps or in fact a, a combination of the two over time so to uh, to be able to do that ideally you need to be logging so let's have a look at the log so this is the book cover if we go inside and uh, I'll just zoom in so it's quite simple you put your name and your goals here and uh, the date of the exercise the stats could be your uh, body percentage and your body weight there's two ways to use the log. In fact, it's very uh, flexible. Um, you'll find that you'll use the log different to other people um, uh, or the same. Um, so two examples of, of ways that you may use the log. You might do an all over body workout, which will be all your exercises down here uh, in this uh, exercise um, column here. And then your Monday workout would be here, followed by your Wednesday and then your Friday workout. So you'd put the date for Monday and the weight of that day and your body percentage. And then you'd put your exercise here. So it might be that uh, you're doing an all over body workout and uh, the first exercise of the day is a back squat. So uh, you start with your back squat, you put in the sets, the reps, the weight, and uh, the rest goes in here, as in your rest uh, period rest time. Um, and it might be that you do, uh, let's say, uh, you, you're planning to do five sets. And um, each uh, set you're doing, um, say, eight reps. Um, so you might choose to use the white row here for your failure set. So like I say, back squat, um, you might be doing five sets, but it might be that you do four sets here. Um, at your rep range of uh, let's say you're doing uh, eight reps eight reps uh, at this weight and then you rest for a minute or whatever it is but then eventually you've done all four uh, sets and you're now on your fifth set it might be that you put your fifth set down here because it's your failure set and you might only manage uh, four reps at full weight you could then strip the weight and, and carry on to do the, the full set of reps however you train but it might be you need to log where you failed um, so you'd put four sets here, one set there, your full eight reps here, and if you failed at three, uh, you'd put three in, in here. Um, <clears throat> um, weight would probably stay the same and the rest period would stay the same. Um, then you'd move on to your next exercise and, and that could be um, at your arms, perhaps you're, you're doing a, a curl. Um, and again, just as above, you'd, you'd put in what you've uh, what you set up to do and then where you fail, you put your failure. So you'd put uh, the fact this is your failure column here, and so on, all the way down um, with your uh, with your uh, session. Plenty of room to to put all the exercises that you do. Uh, however, if you uh, f find you fill all the way to the bottom, you can then go on to the next page to continue that same date, that same Monday continues on on the next page. Um, if it all fits on the first page, fine. Um, you may do cardio, um, so you put your cardio in at the bottom there. It might be you only do cardio on certain days. It might be that you train Monday, Wednesday, uh, Friday, and then you have a cardio day. Um, however, you, you want to use the log. Um, <clears throat> the great thing here now is that you return on the uh, Wednesday. You can see what you did on Monday. You do the same exercise and probably uh, similar uh, weights and reps and uh, the same again on the Friday. Of course, you may find that you're starting to uh, uh, increase the failure figure and it might be that you can do a full set, uh, all five sets in here um, without uh, failing and it could be time 
to start to look at increasing the weight. Um, you could increase the, the reps as you go on day by day. You might have a, a rep range of uh, 6 to uh, 8 or 6 to 12, and it might be once you're hitting the, the upper limit, uh, you then look at increasing the weight. So by uh, the next week or the week after, perhaps if you're working up to 12, once you hit that 12, you may then increase the weight and then drop uh, the reps back down to six. Again, this is so flexible, you use it to match the way that you choose to train. If you're not doing a full body workout, it might be that you want to put uh, your goals in here. You might, write, you might want to write in there leg day uh, on the next page, uh, back day, uh, and the next page, arm day, uh, and then you return to each uh, day, or sorry, each session uh, by, uh, let, let's, for instance, if you're doing an arm day here, and this is your Monday, uh, you're always doing arms on Monday, so this would be Monday's date, you'd have all your arm exercises. The next week when you return, you'd come back to the same arm uh, page for the Monday again, uh, and again the week after so this would be week by week as opposed to day by day and uh, this would be your arms obviously the next page would be the legs and it might be that's your wednesday see so wednesday it would be leg day uh, and you have your wednesday day there the next week and so on just as before so again so so flexible you use the log just how it uh, suits you the crucial thing is uh, that you're uh, obviously logging uh, all of your uh, weights uh, all of your reps, uh, your rest periods, so you've got a comparison, so you can you can make sure that you do start to uh, progressively overload by increasing the reps, increasing the weight, and then day by day, week by week, you start to see this progressive overload. Well, there you go. Uh, that's everything um, I think I can explain about the book, other than the fact, obviously, it's available uh, on Amazon at uh, five seventy five. Um, it's a free delivery if you spend over £10. Uh, I'm not sure the, the delivery charge isn't very expensive if, if you're just buying the one book. So that's everything. Thank you so much for listening to uh, this review and my video. Please give it a thumbs up if it's, uh, if it's of interest, if you liked the video. And of course, a, a thumbs down if you didn't. Again, if you could subscribe to my channel uh, and leave any comments. This all helps with, with my rating on uh, YouTube. Uh, I will answer any any comments, uh, good or bad. Uh, please leave your comments. Thank you very much.